In this video, I'm going to give you my review of the Emma original memory foam pillow. So I bought this pillow roughly four or five weeks ago, and I've been using it every single night for four or five weeks. I bought this from Amazon and at the time it cost me 40 pounds, but just checking the Amazon website today and the very same pillow is now 99 pounds exactly, which is being sold I think directly by Emma Mattress themselves. So massive, massive price increase compared to the price I paid. So I would never ever pay a hundred pound for one single pillow. I mean, even at 40 pound, I think it's quite a lot of money. So I'm gonna give you my quick review of the pillow itself. So as the description says, it's a memory foam pillow. So it comes with this nice polyester cover, which obviously you can put your own cover over the top. I think it's a standard size pillow. I think it's roughly 70 centimeters in length and it just fits a normal pillow case and so on. So you can see it comes with this nice polyester cover, which you can use. So you can put your own cover over the top to protect it if you want. So as you can see, it's a nice memory foam. So it does feel really nice to touch. It feels soft, but also firm at the same time. So you don't, this particular pillow, you don't have to fluff it up like a normal, you know, pillow filled with the normal stuff in such as feathers or any other kind of material. So this kind of maintains its shape even after a long period of time. So it actually comes in a box. So it comes completely folded up in half inside a box. So when you do buy it, it may take roughly two to three days for it to fully expand to its full size. So when I first had it, I th it was probably slightly thinner because it's been compressed inside a box. I did think my first two or three nights of sleep, I thought it's a little bit too low, but it, it does kind of um, get thicker as the days pass. So just give it a little bit of time. Two or three days is usually enough and it does kind of fill it to its original shape and so on. So again, it, it's a nice looking pillow, but would you pay £100 for the pillow? I certainly wouldn't. Even at £40, I think, is quite a lot of money. So that's what it kind of looks like on the outside. So let's have a look at the inside. So it comes with a zip, so you can, you can take this cover off and you can completely wash it if you need to. You can see it comes with a little Emma logo and it comes with Some information what it's made of so it's 98 98 percent polyester the cover and of course the the inside is memory foam so you can take all this out inside so you can actually reduce the height of the pillow by removing one of these layers so it comes with three separate layers on the actual pictures on the amazon website these layers were actually one of them was blue I think the others were white, but in my case, they're all white. So I think the top two layers, these ones are memory foam. I'm not sure if this is actually memory foam. It might be, or it perhaps it's just a cheap kind of middle filling, but the top two layers feel like memory foam and the middle one feels like a cheaper kind of standard foam, but I'm not sure, it might be memory foam. So of course you can pull all these layers out and take the cover off to wash it if you need to. And of course you can also remove one of these layers to reduce the height of the pillow, though I don't think you will need to do that. In my, in, in my kind of opinion, the height is pretty much where it should be. You know, like I said, when I first used it, I thought it was a little bit too low down, but it did kind of expand over the next two or three days. So, so yeah, I mean, to get these layers out and to kind of get them back in is a little bit on the tricky side. You have to kind of be careful. Again, this phone can, it can tear if you, if it, you can kind of see, I can kind of tear it. So you have to be a little bit on the careful side if you do remove these foam layers from the pedal case itself. And again, you can see that they're quite difficult to kind of get back in. So. Even though it says on, on the website you can remove and adjust the layers, they're not that simple to remove and adjust. They're not difficult, but it just takes a little bit of time and patience. So again, I mean, 
th this foam is not nice and soft but also firm at the same time but I would probably say my initial impressions are you know is it is it a hundred pound pillow or even a fifty pound pillow? I think most of the time it sells for roughly fifty pounds on on the, either their website or Amazon. Is it worth fifty pounds? Hmm. I I don't think it is personally. I think it's a lot of money for what is essentially three layers of foam inside a pillowcase. And I do like the pillow. I have probably slept better with it. I do like the fact that it retains its shape pretty much all the time. You don't have to fluff it up. You know, it does get a little bit misshapen, but as soon as you get a bed and you leave it a few hours, it kind of gets back to its normal shape and so on. But I just think for what it is, basically three layers of memory foam inside a pillowcase, I think it's very expensive. At £100, I would absolutely never ever buy this. At the price I paid forty pound, I think it's just a bit worth it. But I would, I wouldn't be comfortable paying more than say forty or fifty pound for this pillow. I, do, I just think you probably can get a cheaper kind of unknown brand with, with the same kind of quality for for the money. But yeah, I've had, like I said, I've had this just over a month, and it's definitely better than you know an average pillow with a, just a standard. A standard fill-in. These memory foam pillows definitely are much much better than say feathered p pillows or any other kind of stuff in which is used inside. But again I just think you know if you're after a pillow which has got a real big wow factor perhaps this is not the kind of pillow for you. It's definitely comfortable but it's not as comfortable as perhaps you think for the price. I think for the price you would probably expect better but you know Again, it's not a bad pillow, it's just not the best pillow you can probably buy for the money. So I'm just going to do this up. So again, just be careful when you do it up, not to jam the foam in the zip. Again, you can see it's a little bit fiddly. So there it is. So you can see it's got a nice shape. Like I say, it does seem to maintain its shape. Or if it does kind of become a little bit misshapen, it kind of fills back out within a few hours or so. So yeah, overall, I do like it. I don't think it's the, the best pillow I've ever had in my life, but I think it depends on the price. I think at 40 or 50 pound, I would recommend it. A hundred pound, absolutely no way, it's far too much money. So yeah, that's my review, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.